it going, everybody? It's Jimmy Perry here from Powerlifting.website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And I'm in my white tee, and I'm in the car again with the... I'll always be in the car, so, yeah. <laughs> I usually be in the car. I'm on the move. But, um... <laughs> Today I'm here to basically go over a post that I have and also to mention that I'm putting the FAQ section instead of just making a bunch of different posts about the same kind of topics like the deadlift, the bench, and the squat. I'm just gonna like make an FAQ section for each of those um lifts. So it's gonna be a page with probably not links, just like different questions regarding the squat, bench press, and the deadlift. And if you have any questions, just put them on there or like message me or I might just put a comment thing on there to let you guys so you can ask ask the question and I'll gather all the information and put it on there for you guys um now today I, the question or really not the question but it's just to go over the deadlift and give you the history or background on the deadlift um and yeah so to start off with the deadlift and the, the question the post actually stemmed from a question that I saw which was why is the deadlift called the deadlift? And it's pretty self-explanatory. But I also decided to go on and answer like what the history of the deadlift was and current deadlift world records are in certain categories. Um, so yeah, let's get started. The deadlift obviously is one of my favorite lifts. I mean, it's not obvious, but it's one of my favorite lifts. I like it more than squat, even though because it's one of the lifts that I feel the least amount of pain in. And then since I discovered the deadlift bar, I've had so much fun with the lift that it's just actually I've gotten. I'm going to go on a lot of tangents, just so you know. This is minor segue. Like, I, I'm going to go on a lot of tangents. But ever since I discovered the deadlift bar, I've actually just gotten more interested in the lift. So, it's that actually had nothing to do with this conversation. Or this, this whatever. But I'm just going to go into that. Um, yeah, so the deadlift is one of my favorite lifts. It requires total body strength somewhat. Not really. And that's something I also mentioned in the article. Um, it doesn't require um, anterior, it requires posterior, it, de it requires muscles along the posterior chain, not the anterior chain, which are the pressing muscles, which are not even pressing really, but like the front mu front muscles, so the quads, even though it helps with the quads a little bit, like I've used my quads when I deadlift a little bit, so I'm not going to say it, that's completely ruled out, but uh, bicep, chest, tricep, or tricep, not really, bicep, chest, um quads pecs like it's just not they don't you know we don't use those in the deadlift so it's not a full body movement but it's a it's a it uses it's, it's one of the lifts that uses the most muscle group and there's least from what i've seen i mean other than like these other like cleaning jerks and you know these crazy little uh explosive movements that weightlifters do i'm not a weightlifter yet but power lifter think about doing some strong man even though i'm like 165 pounds right now which is weird. I've lost so much weight. Uh, yeah, deadlift is called the deadlift because it's literally it's dead start lift. Like you're lifting dead weight off the ground. Now it's not. Well, which way is the question? Is it? Can it be considered a deadlift when you're you when you're doing reps and you're not hitting singles? You're doing like like I do. Like if I'm doing a five reps, five reps, I don't restart. I hit. I let the weight touch the ground, bounce off kind of, and lift back up. Even though it's been said to hurt your lower back, I don't really care because I'm like. I can lift, if I can lift 400 pounds for 12 reps, or three, I did 365 for 12 reps doing that, I'm going to do it to I get my body used to the weight. Obviously, it's not going to feel the best, but as long as I'm doing it with correct form and I'm not hurting myself, I'm okay. Um, so yeah, in this article, I went over a few things, which was the history of the deadlift, a few world records, and myths about the deadlift. Um, basically, in history, I'm just going to briefly go over this, uh, the deadlift was first it seemed to originate have originated in Greece on an island of there on the island of there. Um, the, it wasn't even really dude didn't really even do the deadlift. His name was Eumastus, and it basically basically he had a stone. Some arche archaeologists uncovered a stone that said Eumastus lifted me off the ground in a handprint. Like in a in a handprint on the stone, there was the word inscribed, and obviously I don't think this was in English, but Eumastus, son of whoever, lifted me off the ground. I thought that was interesting. Then. I guess they, some other archaeologists found something saying Bybon in the same basically thing, or I think his name was Bybon, Bibbon, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's B-Y-B-O-N. Bibbon, whatever, was able to lift me over here with a single hand. It's very weird how specific that is, uh, which is weird to me. But they said this is kind of can't be really proven, but it's been said to have happened, so I'm just going to go with it. Uh, and then the 1700s to the 1900s, I guess if, 
in the few in those years. Uh, the deadlift seemed to a few, there were a few different variations of deadlifts, which were the harness lift, which is basically somebody put a harness on themselves and tried to stand up with weights, a lot of weight. The most was most that I've seen here was a dude named Thomas Topham, and he was he was British by the way, the British strongman, and he was able to harness lift. 1800 pounds which is no small feat that's a lot of weight then there's the silver dollar lift which is basically a person lifts two barrels full of silver dollars uh off of the ground and basically a person would come they, whoever lifted the weight would call somebody from the crowd out and actually lift the weight if they're able to lift it they would um get the silver dollars they still do this in strongman i believe i haven't really seen it but they i've read that they do this in strongman then there's the health lift, which is basically, and this reminds me of someone like, um, I know Juju Mufu does this on his channel where he basically grabs a grip, grip implement. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like the rolling thunder or whatever. It's some grip implement with one hand and you stand up with it. Uh, you stand on the elevated, elevated platform and lift the weight off the ground. And then it really started to pick up with Herman Goner, who was a German, they called him a strength pioneer, I don't know, strongman, powerlifter, whatever you would call him. He'd done a few things, like he wrestled elephants, flipped the 50 kilogram kettlebell, deadlifted 793 pounds, which is I consider to be very impressive in 1900s, that's crazy. Uh, and he deadlifted, seven, or 1900 to 1991, that's, he did this in like, between the years 1910 and 1930, which is amazing. And he also deadlifted 727 pounds with one arm, which is weird to me, I don't know how he managed to do that. Um, yeah, and then he basically set the name for deadlifting. Um, there's also a bunch of other information in here. Like, there's Ed Cohen, who really, he set the deadlift for, he set a record for the deadlift that stood for 20 plus years, which is basically deadlifting 901 pounds at a 220 pound body weight, which is amazing. Um, and then there's a few world records that was broken by Kayla Willem who I mentioned was Dr. Deadlift and then Yuri Belkin and then there's a, a few other world records like there's Andy Bolton who was the first person to ever deadlift a thousand pounds or first re ever recorded person to deadlift a thousand pounds um then there's Eddie Hall dude deadlift 1100 pounds I always speak about that and then Andy Bolton I mentioned um, then there's Becca Swanson, who has the heaviest recorded deadlift of 305 kilograms. Then Benedict Magnuson, who, you know, 10,000 or 1015 pounds, so 1,015 pounds, which was the, which is what's considered the heaviest raw deadlift. Then the heaviest partial deadlift, again, Eddie Hall, 536 kilos. Uh, heaviest long bar strongman deadlift was done, Eddie Hall, 465 kilos. Um, heaviest tire deadlift, Z I don't know how to pronounce this exactly, so excuse me if I'm wrong. Zedrunas Zavikas, and that was 524 kilograms. The mid to the deadlift, and I'm, not, I'm only going to paraphrase these because it's a 10 minute video at this point. Uh, it works every every muscle in the body. Not true, like I said, it doesn't work the anterior chain. It works the posterior chain, which is the muscles we kind of used to stand up. Um, I believe that's my understanding of it if I'm wrong pointed out it's a competition i want to make sure i have the best information out there uh and then there's the deadlift is an extremely dangerous movement to perform if you're doing it wrong anything is an extremely dangerous thing to perform if you're driving in a way that's not prescribed to drive you're going to hurt yourself if you are benching in a way that's not prescribed to bench you're going to hurt yourself if you are walking in a way that is not safe to walk you will hurt yourself even though i do not know how that's possible if you eat with a fork that is not in a way in a way that is not prescribed to eat with the fork you will hurt yourself don't say that and then you need to build you need to do the delta to build an awesome physique is the last myth it's not true obviously there's other movements that you can do there's for instance the cleaning jerk that works the same like there's other movements that work the same muscle that the deadlift works i want to add that section to this post so you guys know what those movements are but yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to link out to the article in the description and if you like this content leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and also i'm going to be putting my social media accounts on here so you guys can follow me on those because i'll be posting you know pinterest and then snapchat all obviously i'll be doing the same stuff i'm talking my butt off right now very fast i, I drink a lot of red bull <laughs> so that's probably why i drink a lot of red bull and i drink a lot of tim hortons so yeah um all right, you guys will see me at the next one. Peace.